want to clarify something, Keith. I can't even curse, but I want to call you exactly what's on the screen. You piece of... You're not even worth describing, but I'm so angry that this random confession is going to be all about you. Yeah, yeah, I got my I got my friend on tap and she's pretty pissed off. You remember her confession? Yeah, she she doesn't like bullying. You low down piece of Yeah. That's you Keith Oberman. Yeah, this is for entertainment purposes only, but let's talk about what you did. Yeah, yeah, you pick on the least of them. You pick on the look at your wording and your phrasing, and this is how you come out to the world dogging these women. And I say these women because that, that's exactly what you did, Keith. Yeah, you call yourself calling out Angel Reese, and then you try to come back and think you're going to fix it, but then you're going to call out Caitlin Clark, too. But look at your words, you piece of trash. You're not even worth. I'm trying to see how your mother even had you born. Did she? She? Somebody says she should have swallowed you instead of you being. This is just for entertainment purposes only. Yeah, this is just. I'm just. This, I'm just playing around. You piece of dog trash. You probably smell like freaking dog. Yeah, yeah, you came after the least of them. So I'm just like Shaquille O'Neal now. He said, anybody that knows, I am the voice. And no, you don't pick on the least of them. You don't pick on folks that can't defend them own selves against you. Yeah, yeah, I'm not even going to go racist, you piece of trash. By the time I finish with you today, your behind should look like a hot cross freaking bun. You came after two women and you don't even know nothing about them. You don't know nothing about them at all. All you saw was what somebody else said and you come out with this statement. I can't even say the word because I'm actually a gentleman, but I'm going to put it on the screen. That's why everybody can see what you said. I'm not blotting it out. I'm going to put a warning on here. I'm going to say, don't watch it. I'm going to say everything, but everybody's going to know what type of trash you are, man. You're some of the worst trash ever. You're one of them kids, man. When you did something to a special needs person, I'd have stomped your head in the freaking ground. When you picked on some little kid or something, I'd have elbowed a deaf to you. Just drop you straight on some concrete. You you best be glad you don't live nowhere near some people who can actually back up what I'm saying. Like Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, see, because when Shaq told you to shut the hell up, you shut the hell up real quick, didn't you? Yeah, because you know what Shaq represents. Shaq will elbow a death you. Yeah, Shaq will put that thing on you and you shut up instantly. But you need to take it down. But since you haven't taken it down, since it's still up there for the world to see, then I'm going to get in your natural born butt today. Yes, sir, Keep Oberman. You seem like one of these type of nasty dudes that want to go over to the Saudi Arabia and have elephants poo on you. Yeah, you seem that type, like that type of dude. You like to open up your mouth and swallow elephant poo. Yeah, yes, you do. You like to eat elephant poo and monkey poo and all that. Mm, yes, you do. You like to put it all in your mouth and make poo sandwiches. You know what I'm saying? You probably like to eat, eat, eat elephant poo, don't you? Yes, you do, you poopy pizza trash you i told you i'm not done with you mm -hmm. you seem like one of these nasty dudes that don't even bathe and got poo stains going all up your backside yeah that's you that's you ain't a keeper we're just just for we just entertaining that's all this this just entertainment purposes only like like your post like your post is just for entertainment purposes only
You, you just jumped. You was just joshing, wasn't you? <laughs> yeah, you just joshing around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you won't try that up in Baltimore. Go up there where Angel Reese is from. Uh huh. Go up there. Go up there where she's from and talk all that. Get out your car. Go get out your car and be more. Uh huh. Over there in the hood. Yeah, yeah. Get out over there off ML King. One of those streets that we know. We know where you at. Mm hmm. And get out and start talking that trash and see what you get. Mm hmm. Yeah, you one of them type of dudes, man. We we take you up in there and it's on the inside, and in five minutes they made you a girl. You're not even a man. You you a woman, yeah, because that's what they would make you in five minutes, Mister Oberman, a woman. Yeah, you yeah you be a girl. You're gonna be everybody's girl on the inside. And you know what, Mister Oberman? Here's the great thing about this: <laughs> what's done in the dark will come to the freaking light. Yeah, yeah, you got some smut out there somewhere. <laughs> you got some smut out there somewhere. Yeah, and see, my little friend that did, did the confession about how she prays in her religion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that word has four O's in it. One start, starts with a V. Then O O, then D, then O O. Yeah, that's actually her religion. And see, when the people picked on her, that picked on her, you need to look at my confession about don't do not watch. And that warning, once she started praying, buddy, so much bad stuff started happening. I I actually advised her, please just stop. Please just just stop. Don't even don't even do it. You're you're you could actually put your your gifts and abilities to greater use than than this person that had done that wronged her and she actually had to bequeathed enough damage upon him through her religion of V O O D O O Mr. Oberman. Yeah, look at your freaking post. I, I'm not even going to block it out. I'm not even going to try to block it out. I want the world to see your filth. Let's examine it. No context. You don't, you don't say whether you know these women or not. Have you interviewed them? You're supposed to be a professional reporter. Seemed like you would have called up uh, Angel Reese's people and, and got a, a PR request to talk to her and um, got her on on tape and what was her feelings and what was her what was going on at the time uh, since you were not there and, and you just you're you're stating this as a matter of fact you are assassinating her character. You are assassinating her womanhood, her personhood, um, her ability to do what she does on the basketball court. In one fell swoop, we know who you are. Yeah, and that's why this rant is going on. I don't even know how long it's going to go on, but I'm going on. I'm going on on you filthy piece of trash. I ought to go and get some canker worms and put it in your freaking mouth. This is just for entertainment purposes only. I ought to go get those flesh-eating beetles that they have over in Egypt and just tie you up and just let the beetles have you and just, <laughs> just start eating on your doggone flesh. We're just talking. It's like a movie, like a kind of horror film. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, we're just joshing around. You know what I'm saying? We just we just playing. Yeah, but you see in the military, my, my, my boys they they take you off in the field in the woods, you know, and they find this, you know, a mound of black widow spiders. And then they just dig and they put you in there and right next to the to the mound. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then they just stir the nest and let the widows get you. 
Hit or scorpions. Red ants. Oh, it's a thousand ways to get medieval on you, man. We just playing. I mean, we just you know saying. <laughs> Shaq already told you to shut the up. And you know what that means. Yeah, I bet you won't say nothing else. Yeah, I checked your line. I checked your line. Man, you ain't said nothing else. Because you too much of something to actually have. You should have his guts poked out. Yeah, you a girl. And you are an idiot yourself. I can't even frame the word up. It's so filthy. I block this stuff out on my channel. I try to actually do right. But you know what, Keith? We're going to let your own words speak for themselves. Yeah, you filthy piece of trash, Keith Oberman. These are your words. You call her mindless and classless. Really, Mr. Eat Elephant Poo. Yeah, you gonna call somebody mindless and classless and for entertainment purposes only. You go over to Egypt and Saudi Arabia and have elephants poo on you. And then you scoop it up and eat it like it's fresh dinner and make sandwiches, as they say in the country. Yeah, Mr. Overman, you are such filth. You eat poo to go and poo. Your whole insides is just poo. That's what your breath smell like when you walk around. People instantly turn their nose up at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You call her mindless, classless, attack the coach. You attack Mulkey. Say so what what type of team she had. And you you went on and on. This is I'm just showing small snippets. You filthy trash. You aren't even you aren't even deserving to be sweat from a freaking worm's balls. That's right. You're not even the sweat from a worm's balls. You're worse than that. You're the trash that falls off the sweat that falls off of a freaking worm's balls. You hear me? Yeah. I'm just talking for entertainment purposes only, though. We just joshing around. <laughs> we just joshing, Keith. We just playing around like you was playing around. You know what I'm saying? You haven't taken it down. You haven't taken it down. And I don't have that many YouTube subscribers. I don't ask them for no money. You know, I'm just putting my stuff up, you know, just just having these old little smutty confessions. But let's deal with your freaking smut confession, because it's right here in front of our Look eyes. What the cat drug in from out off the line. Oh, stankin' possum named Keith Oberman. And let's read his words. I don't follow hoops, college or pro, men or women. I had no idea about Clark. And then you idiot, you're going to say both were wrong? You filthy piece of monkey poo trash. You don't even watch? Wait a minute. Hold on. Did this idiot just say he don't even watch? You didn't even watch the freaking game? I don't follow hoops. College or pro. Men or women. Wait a minute. 
You don't even know the freaking game. You know what? You Democrat, Republican, independent, outback, having from the nowhere of New York. And, and you know what? I love New York. I love everybody up there. But Oberman, you got to be the you got to be the worst piece of trash I've ever seen. Everybody that I know come from New York is better than you. You're the worst person ever in the history of kind. Because at least. They wouldn't be attacking her. You're classless. Even Donald Trump ain't said nothing. Ain't nobody from New York said nothing. You the only one. You're an outcast. You are. You're an outcast, man. You attacked women who don't you don't even know nothing about them you don't even follow this freaking sport you don't follow the men or the women so you don't know nothing about the Knicks either you don't know nothing about the 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 Nets you don't know nothing you don't follow Rutgers basketball huh you don't follow St. John's huh you don't follow nothing but this is what you're going to run your mouth about. You want to open up your mouth and dog these two women who happen to be two of some of the best in their game. One of the best tournaments ever. Caitlin Clark is going to go down in history. She's a beast. She's a monster. New Yorkers would love her ball game. Are you serious? They would love Angel Reese's ball game. But here you are. Let's look at it again. I don't know college hoops. I don't follow hoops. College or pro. Me and her women. So you just don't know crap. Oh no, you do know crap because that's what you eat. And that's what you eat right now. A ton of crap. So get, so go ahead and get your plate and sit on down. Uh-huh. Because my lady from the help, she's made you a pie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's made you one of her famous pies. And you're going to sit right here and you're going to have a slice. Mm-hmm. You're going to have a slice of this boo-boo pie. I don't even know the game. I don't even follow hoops. I apologize for being uninformed last night about the bank theory on this. I you know, apology not accepted. You can take that and eat it like elephant poop. Swallow. Ooh. Get some more. Ooh. Not forgiven. No, we're not forgiving you on this one. Because you still haven't taken it down. It's still up today. So that means you want it to be up there. Mm-hmm. Ever since then and ever since Shaq said, shut the hell up, man. Shut the hell up, man. You need to shut the hell up. Jason Williams came out. Shut the hell up. Stephen A. Smith. Shut up, Keith Oberman. Everybody saying, shut up. Shut up, Keith Oberman. Eat it. Both women were wrong. No, they weren't. They're in the heat of the moment. I'm sick of this, man. I'm sick of you people like you, dog and athletes, uh, women, uh, people that are least of you because you think they're least than you. You know, then you want to run your mouth about it. You, you, you want to pipe all up. You want to pipe it up, pipe it up, pipe it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to get piped up, all right. You're going to get piped up, all right, Keith. It's like Shaq said. Shut the hell up, man. You don't even know what the hell you talking about. You don't even watch basketball at all. And I'm not even going to bring race into it. I'm not going to bring nothing in it other than you are the most classless 
worthless piece of trash that eats elephant poo, makes doo-doo sandwiches, swallows it, sniffs it, puts it all in his ears and loves it. You actually orgasm off of this trash. You orgasm off of fecal matter. Allegedly. I mean, we're just talking about for entertainment purposes only. We're just joshing and everything. Like, like you're joshing. You know, like you're just, you know, and even though I don't know nothing about you, I'm just as qualified to call you a piece of elephant dung as you are to call each one of these ladies out of their name. How about you just watch the game? How about you try that? The most exciting women's NCAA tournament probably in history. That game was definitely the most highest ratings they ever had because it was good. It was exciting. Caitlin Clark ain't mad. She ain't mad because she say you can't see me too. She shoots from the logo. She's a monster. Angel Reese is a monster when she gets on the court. And they play the game the way it's supposed to be played. To the end. You probably wouldn't know nothing about that though. You probably haven't even played an organized sport. That's probably why you never watched it. Because you can't even play it. You can't shoot a free throw. You probably can't jump. You probably can't jump from the ground on top of the curb. Got a two inch vertical and can't even get that. Trash. Trash. You seem like the type of person to pick on special needs people, don't you? You like to pick on special needs people, don't you, Keith Oberman? This ain't got nothing to do with where you from. It's something in your mind broken, ain't it? It's something in your twisted mind that's broken that makes you want to pick on people that can't defend themselves. Yeah, there's something wrong with you. Something wrong with you psychologically, allegedly. I mean, we're just talking about inf- inf- for entertainment purposes only. It's something actually wrong with you. We just joshing up and we're just playing. It's, it's something wrong with you. And you know, you you missing two two cans out the six pack. You know, like somebody opened up one, drank it, and opened up the second one, slurped it, and then put them both back there like it was still a six pack. But it ain't really a six pack there. It ain't really a six pack there. Nope. No, it ain't. It looked like it, but it ain't. Somebody opened up one of them bottles of that six pack and they put water in there. No, they didn't. They put piss in there. And that's what you've been drinking. We just talking about entertainment purposes only. We just joshing around, Keith. You filthy piece of elephant dung. You, you rhino, you smell like rhino dung. And when I was coming up, we used to go to the, to the zoo. There was two of them. They, they had rhino. They had big old elephants and, and white tigers. But the, the worst smelling area of all was that rhino area. Elephant, elephant was it was rancid, but rhino, rhino butt man, it'll make you almost pass out. It's like smelling formaldehyde. It's it's like embalming fluid, man. In the atmosphere, this stuff is it's it's so it's so rancid that out of all the areas you'd be like it's still a whole, it's still a worse smell coming from over in this area to the left than all these ter- I'm talking about you could go past the the gorilla area the the tiger the lion area you could go past the elephant area and, and I'm telling you once you got to that rhinoceros area you would be about ready to pass out and that's what it is when you're around Keith Overman. You're like rhino, but we can't even, you're not even worthy to be in other people's presence. You should personally make your own self disappear. That would be good. If you made your own self disappear, just, just disappear. We never even hear from you no more.
That'd be real good. You said, let's quote it one more time. I don't even watch hoops. You don't even watch hoops. You untalented, ungrateful, unthankful, jealous, envious piece of rhinoceros butt. You don't even deserve to be called rhinoceros butt. You just need to call you something else because there's got to be some stuff worse than that. And it is actually sickening to think that you would hide behind 120 characters to assassinate two women's character who don't even have such as a speeding ticket. Yeah. These women ain't even known to have known having a relationship. Nothing. All they know is ball. Ball and ball till they fall. They trash talk to each other. It's part of the game, but you wouldn't know that because you don't know how to play with others. You always had, it's my ball. And you went home by yourself, didn't you? You never really had friends, did you, Keith? That's why you went into into uh, broadcasting because you wanted people to see you because when you was a kid, nobody saw you. Nobody could see you. And you know what? Ain't nobody going to see you. And that's why ESPN fired your trash tail. Yes, you see this right here? This is what you call greatness on the basketball court. Yeah, you can't see this, Keith. You can't touch this like MC Hammer. You ain't even worth being a part of this conversation with this girl. You can't even hold her panties. Well, I mean, but for entertainment purposes, you're probably wearing them yourself. I mean, I wouldn't be mad if you was. Just come on out, Keith, and say what you are. We'll love you and accept you for what you are, Keith. Just come on out in your bra and panties. We will love you. Look, we love you and accept you, Keith. Stop. Keith on you. Listen, Keith on you. Stop it. We love you, Keith on you. Come on out from among them and be separated and put your panties on. Come on out from among them and put your bra and your panties on so we'll know who you are, Keith. That's why you attacking these beautiful, nice women that ball till they fall. Yeah, because you attack Caitlin Clark too. You're not finna attack her either. You're not finna attack, you're not finna deflect from the piece of cow dung that you are. No, no, you're gonna eat it today, sir. You're going to eat every last one of these horse dung patty burgers we got for you. Yeah, we're going to serve this stuff up fresh, fresh and hot, fresh and hot poo in, in a sandwich for you trash. You trash Keith Oberman. Keith Oberman is trash and doesn't even he's not even worthy to speak. And that's why you shut the hell up, ain't you? All your coverage been Donald Trump, ain't it? I bet we go to your Twitter, everything just following Donald Trump now. It don't matter whether you saying it's good or bad. That's all you talking about. Because you know what? That's all you know about. That's that's all you think that you know about is politics. You don't even watch the game. And if you knew the game, you would know that Caitlin Clark is one of the best women who tossed up the rock in recent history period you would know that she's Steph Curry she pulls up from the logo and she got game yeah and the people who she went up against this year in South Carolina and Dawn Staley Club they got game yeah, they got NIL deals. And they probably make more than you do, Keith Oberman. You filthy. You know what? You know that sweat that comes off the backside of a beaver's butt? That's you. 
That's you. No, you're not. You're not even a sweat. You're the dirt that comes off of the sweat, off of the backside of a beaver's behind. That's you. I mean, allegedly. For entertainment purposes only. We could just visualize it. Yeah, keep over. You probably know, you probably one of those kids that in school we trip going down the steps because you have been picking on a special needs person in the bathroom. And you wind up with two lumps on the top of your head. We called you lump lump for the week because you was in there picking on a special needs person. You seem like one of the type of people you want to uh, uh, snatch kids money and stuff. Other kids money into a kid like me came along and then took all your money. Yeah. You're so worthless. And that's why this rant is going so long because I want anyone who listens to know that you are so freaking worthless. Yeah. You probably don't even, it's probably no matter what your sexuality is, Keith, even though I know you wear panties and bras, allegedly, we just talk about for entertainment purposes only. We know you a woman. Just acting like you're a man. Just come on out and say it. We're going to accept you. You don't have to attack other women because you want to be like other women. You don't have to do that, Keith. We're going to love you for who you are. You see what I'm saying? You don't have to be a bully to other people that you want to be like. You desire to be like a woman. It's all over you, Keith. It's all over you. You paint your toenails pink, allegedly, for entertainment purposes only, which is Josh and Ralph, right? Right? So just come on out. And now you don't, you can stop attacking Caitlin Clark. You can stop attacking Angel Reese. You can stop attacking Kim Malky. You can stop attacking women's basketball. You can stop attacking basketball when you're trifling no good stupid low IQ having back outside by the trailer park having no good Montana ugly beer back face cow patty eating dumb stupid Can't even come up with. I, I want to just. Oh my god. Oh. Ooh. And anybody know me know I could rip it if I wanted to. But I, you're not even worth ripping it. You're not even worth ripping it. I like to see you go out there against Angel Reese and she elbow you in your neck and throw it all the way down your freaking throat. Yeah. I like to see you step out there with Ace Candace Parker and she slam it on your head. Yeah, I like to see what Brittany Grimer do to somebody like you. You'll find out, man, that these are real athletes. Don't you realize these women are six, four, six, five, six, seven? These real Amazons right here, player. Yeah, they take little little dudes like you and make meat out of them. You become their girlfriend. If that's what they wanted. Yeah, yeah. And that's why you have to shut the hell up. And shut the hell up forever. Shut the hell up forever. Forever, ever. Forever, ever. Ever, ever. Shut the hell up forever, Keith Overman. Yeah, yeah, they said they caught Keith Overman over there at Jeju Spa in Atlanta. They said he had a two inch peen. <laughs> and it was fully hard. <laughs> uh, and for entertainment purposes, that's what they said. Allegedly, that's what they said. Allegedly, they said he came in Atlanta, gonna sneak out the, he gonna sneak out the Jeju out there. <laughs> and gonna get a rub down. In front, you know what I'm saying? He gonna get a rub down. He, he, he gonna get all excited and pull his towel off. It looked like my thumb. Half of my thumb. A quarter of my 
there I go dumb you little pink wet prickly spiny stinking trashy fishy smell just come on out Keith come on out Keith we know we know what you are Keith we know what you are okay you like to actually come to Atlanta and you like to go over there off Piedmont and Monroe. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you like to go off of Piedmont and Monroe. And you like to go over there in the district. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you like to put your dress on, don't you? Don't you, Keith? You like putting a dress on. You like putting your makeup on and all that. But see, here's the thing. Here's the thing, Keith. Just come on out. Come on out. Come on out and you won't have a rant like this on your stinking dung butt. Dung going up the backside of your back. You won't have no rant like this. Yeah, you won't even have to deal with it. Because then you'll be protected. Because we love and accept you. Yes, but Keith, we can't love and accept you if you don't come out the closet. That's why you was attacking. That's why you been attacking Caitlin Clark. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. And you don't even watch. You don't even watch men or women's basketball, pro, college, nothing. That's because you're one of the most unathletic individuals in the history of unathleticism. You piece of dung. Yeah, you can't see me. Now you see me, now you don't. You can't see neither one of these butterflies. You can't see Black Barbie. You can't see the double seed assassin from Iowa. You can't see them because their game doesn't translate to your stupidity. IQ. Go write about Donald Trump. Because these two ladies right here is actually what exemplifies grace, class, integrity, devotion, greatness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you look at Angel Reese and you look at Caitlin Clark, think greatness. When they go to the bathroom and they take a dump, they're going to bag some up and bring it over to you and put it on a sandwich for you. Okay, so you can eat it and then you can taste what greatness is. How about that? (laughs) Yeah, how about that? Yeah, this is your confession, Keith Oberman. You wish you was a woman. So come on out, bro. We respect you. And if you want to taste greatness, we're going to let you taste. We're going to let you get a good old taste. And then you won't have to go over to Saudi Arabia, allegedly. Okay. For entertainment purposes only. And eat elephant dung. Right. So I just want you to know. That this worthless individual. And I I really would love for you to come on TV. Matter of fact, somebody send this to Keith Overman. Please. Please send it to Keith Oberman. Please send it to Keith Oberman. Please send it to Keith Oberman. Send it to his email. Send it to his Twitter. Send it to his DM. Send it to his mama. Send it to his daddy. Send it to his cousin. Send it to his sister. Send it to his brother. I really don't give a freak because my girl who works VOO, DOO, is already pissed off. And she actually wants something to do with her time. Allegedly, for entertainment purposes only. And she hates bullies. 
she hates bullies. And she actually would love something to do. She would love to start praying. In her religion of V-O-O-D-O-O. We just joshing around. <laughs> we just joshing around, right, Keith? We just playing. We just playing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we ain't <laughs> We ain't for real, right? We're not we're not for real. We just, you know. How about you watch a game? How about you watch all of them? Mm -hmm. And not just Caitlin Clark. Watch them all. Watch South Carolina. Watch Virginia Tech. Watch LSU. Watch Cody Mac McMahon in Ohio State. Watch that Purdue team up there. How about Gino, Gino Ari Ariana's squad up there at UConn? How about how about you actually uh, take a look around the WNBA? Buy a ticket. Go see the Sparks play. Go watch the Vegas Aces. Go check out some real athletes, you freaking trash. Instead of sitting up there and all you think that you know is what you even don't know about politics. And that's why ESPN fired your tail for amongst other reasons. Because you don't know sports. Allegedly. I mean, for entertainment purposes only. You don't know greatness like Angel. You can't even sniff the black Barbie's dirty socks. You, you can't even sniff. You can't even sniff this. That's right. I ain't gonna say it because you don't even deserve me to say it. Neither one of them. You don't even deserve to smell like freaking armpits. You deserve to take your face and stick it all the way up in an elephant's butt and wait for it to have the worst flatulence in the history of flatulence since flatulence has been freaking flatulence and unload on your head with the force and ton a weight of, of a g-force blow your freaking eardrums out and put elephant dung all in your mouth and up your nose that's what you deserve Mr. Oberman and I want the world to know. I want my 1,500, 1,600 subs. I want them to know what trash and dung is in the human form. I want them to know that Mr. Oberman has such the gall to dog innocent women that he doesn't even know anything about them individually, personally or professionally based upon what they do based upon his own freaking confession and saying that he doesn't even know or watch the darn game men or women college or pro you don't know crap do you Mr. Oberman wait let me take that back actually crap is your specialty because that is what you eat that's what you eat, Mr. Oberman. You eat crap. And so I want to make sure we you get served up a whole lot of it today. And I don't know how long this rant has been. I really don't care. My stuff usually is only three to five minutes. I know I've blown past that. And that's good. Because I've blown past that on a piece of trash like you. And so the world will know what trash you are. And it still hasn't been taken down, you filth. One thing about you, though, once you're gone, we can put some roses on top of you. They'll grow like wildfire. Because you ain't nothing but miracle girl doo-doo. That's what you are. Doo-doo. 
And I wish I could say every other curse word known to me. I wish I could curse you in German, French, Chinese, Japanese, Russian. I wish I could curse you in Portuguese. I wish I could curse you in Haitian. I wish I could curse you in... But you know what? I can't. I can't. Because you cursed your own self. You sown the wind, Mr. Oberman. And I hope you reap the whirlwind. I hope you reap a hundredfold. A thousandfold. I hope you reap 10,000 fold. I hope you reap 50,000 fold. I hope you reap 100,000 fold. Back on you, what you dished out on innocent people. And just like you didn't know them, I don't know you. And so that means I'm qualified to get into your butt. Trash. Go somewhere. And don't come back. That would be really great. Don't self-delete. You need to stay here and keep eating the dung. So I want you to stay here. For entertainment purposes only. <laughs>